Hi, this is Andrew with Mock Till You Drop. You're probably wondering why this video is titled Seventh Tip for Doing CFA Level 1 Mock Exams. Well, I released a video a couple of weeks before this one called Six Tips for Doing CFA Level 1 Mock Exams. And recently I was having a conversation with a friend who's actually a candidate in the program about doing mock exams. And as we were talking, I came up with an idea about doing mock exams that I hadn't mentioned in the previous video. Uh, so I decided to create this video to add to those other tips. Um, so if you haven't already, uh, let's go ahead and check out that video. Again, it's called Six Tips for Doing CFA Level 1 Mock Exams, and you can find it on our YouTube channel. Um, and before we begin, please be sure to click on that subscribe button below so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. Okay, so this tip's a little bit involved, so I'm going to break it down for you and then end the video with an example that I think will help uh, give you a better idea of how you can use it as part of your mock exam strategy. So this tip's going to be appropriate after you've already done your fair share of mock exams. And in the previous mock exam video, um, I talk about what the reasonable number of mock exams should be, which is important because I don't think this tip will really add much value unless you do attempt a good number of mock exams with review first. Uh, this tip can also help you focus your attention on those topics that may you may have struggled with while doing the mock exams or you just found to be more difficult than the other topics. And it's also going to be uh, helpful if you are close to the exam date and you're pressed for time. There may still be areas that you may need to go over, but you may not have the time to complete an entire mock exam with review. Okay, so now I think it's time to go over an example um, so you can have a better idea of how you can implement this tip. So let's say that you already attempted eight mock exams with review, uh, but you're planning on doing at least 10. However, you only have a couple of days until the exam date and you want to give yourself a break the day before the exam and you just don't want to have to rush through two more mock exams. So here's something you can do. Let's say that you're doing well in eight out of the 10 topics, but you feel like you need to make improvements in the two other topic areas, uh, whether you find them to be more difficult topics than the others or you aren't scoring in them what you'd like to be scoring. So instead of attempting all the questions in the last two mock exams, just attempt those questions of the topics that you want to focus more on. Uh, basically, you're going to start the 9th and 10th mock exams, only you just answer the questions from those topics. And if you really want to get technical, you can time yourself by multiplying a minute 30 seconds by a number of questions you're attempting. And then you would do the review of the solutions the same way you did with the previous mock exams. Uh, not only will this be a more efficient use of your time in the last couple of days leading up to your exam, but you'll be able to fine tune your performance in those areas that you want to improve on. Okay, so I hope you got some value from this video. If you did, please give it a like. Also in the comment section below, please let us know what you thought of this tip or if you have any tips of your own that you'd like to share. Thanks for watching and good luck.